Hi, if this is your first time here, welcome to my YouTube channel. Or if you're like me and you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Chaotic Pro, and for this week's video, we're actually going to be making something super special that I've never made before. But before we get into that, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and of course, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and on TikTok at chaoticpearl underscore crafts, where you'll be able to see pictures of this current project as well as previous projects that I've made and projects that I'm going to be working on in the future. So don't forget to check me out over there. So for this week's video, as I said, I'm gonna be making something super special that I've never made before, or at least it's super special to me something that I've been wanting to make for a while now, I'm actually gonna be making a star bikini top. And of course, we're gonna be crocheting it. So here I have my trusty 5.5 millimeter hook, which is what the yarn that I'm gonna be using this week. This is the Mainstay 100% cotton yarn. It brings 180 yards. And the color that I'm holding right now is called Opaline Green. It is 100% cotton, and I got this yarn from Walmart. Now this is the only mainstay yarn that I actually really do like to use. I do have some of their acrylic yarn, but I'm not a very big fan of it. I do prefer their cotton yarn. So I'm going to be using this yarn to make that star bikini top that I was talking about. Now I am going to be following somebody else's pattern. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to give you guys all of the details, but you will be able to find that video in the description box down below, as well as all of the materials that I used to make this. So go ahead and check that out if you would like to make one of these yourself. But this is basically the materials that we need to get started. So let's get started. Okay, now I do need to say just before we get started on this project, you are going to want to know how to single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and triple crochet for this, for this specific pattern. Um, I'm also going to be making a bit of a modification to the project um in the pattern she does use the chain five or a chain four and then attach for the center ring but i'm going to be using a magic circle because i i do prefer it to be just a little bit more closed up than having that big hole in the middle of everything so as you can see i already do have my yarn prepped to start my magic circle where i have the waist yarn or the tail of the yarn here i wrap it around my index index and middle finger and I make an X that way. And then I'm just gonna go under the tail yarn so that I can pull the working yarn under, make a little loop, wrap it around, and then come back, get that working yarn again. And that's gonna be my first chain. So from here, I'm gonna get started with the pattern. And now she does have us making three sets of double crochet chain two, but I'm gonna do three double crochets and a chain one. So that's a repeated five times. So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks. Okay, and so here I have my five sets of three double crochet and chain one. So now I'm ready to get started on the next part, which is where we're going to make the spikes for the star. So if I'm not mistaken, from here, she has us doing a half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, chain two, and then we would repeat the same, but in reverse. So it would be a treble crochet, double crochet, half double crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then of course, show you guys what it looks like after.
Okay, and that's what the beginning of the star should look like. And it's actually looking a lot... <laughs> I did watch the video for where she made this and I was surprised at how quickly it worked up but I'm still surprised for some reason how quickly it works up so from here we're just gonna be doing a single crochet until we get to the point of each part of the star I guess you could say we're gonna get to the point of each part and then we're going to do a half double crochet double crochet chain two and of course we would do the reverse again which would be a double crochet half double crochet and then just single crochet and that's basically what I'm going to be doing to build it out for the rest of the way but again like I said this isn't my pattern specifically that's why I'm not going too much into detail so if you do want to know specifically exactly how to make this I would suggest checking out her video which is linked in the description box down below but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that next part and basically from this next row is where we're just gonna be building it out so I'll do that as many times as I need to in order to make the well in order to make it the correct size that I need it to be so that's what I'm gonna be doing now okay so here is my first star all completed I actually ended up doing four rows one two three four of the single crochet with the double crochet half double crochet at the point so this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna go ahead and make the second star and then I'll attach them to finish off the bikini top Here are the two completed stars. So what I'm gonna do now is just make a couple of chains and I'll attach them to different points. So like here for the bottom points, of course, at the sides and then at the top and in the center as well. So I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like once everything is attached. And of course I'll show you guys what it looks like on so that we can all see the beauty of this bikini top but this is what the stars are looking like and again i didn't make this pattern myself so go ahead and check out the link in the description box below where you can learn how to make these stars as well and accomplish the same thing now i did make a couple of changes to the pattern that she used so instead of doing the chain four and then attach with a slip stitch i made a magic circle for the center and instead of doing two chains which i know i had mentioned that that was what i did Instead of doing two chains for the spaces here, I actually went back and did just one chain in between for each space. So just to make basically close those holes up a little bit more. But this is what it turned out to be like. And I did follow the rest of the pattern the way that she does in her tutorial video. So go ahead and check that out. And yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's on. So as promised, I'm back and I do have the finished top on. I am still working out a little bit of the placement as far as where I should put the knots to keep the straps attached. But so far, this is the best fit that I have found for myself. So this is what it looks like. And like I said, of course, if you would like to make your own stars, please follow the description box. I have the link there for the video where I learned how to make these stars. And of course, you would just attach the straps wherever you see fit for the best fit for you. And of course, don't forget to make the stars the correct size for you as well. But I do definitely love the way that it looks. I'm just still working out the, the fit as far as where I need to attach the straps, where I need to put the little knots so that it fits just a little bit better. But like I said, this was the best fit that I was able to find so far. I am gonna keep experimenting. So of course, if I do change it, I'll update you guys over on my Instagram or on TikTok at chaotic curl underscore crafts we'll be able to see this project as well as past projects and current projects that i'm working on as well but thanks so much for joining me in this week's video i hope you guys had just as much fun making this quick project as i did 
and if you didn't if you made something else i hope you enjoyed making whatever it was that you were working on and i hope to see you guys in the next one have a great day